Now, premature birth, which is defined as a birth before 37 weeks, is globally the biggest cause of death among newborns. While incubators can save the lives of some premature babies, they can also leave them with long-term disabilities. Now, scientists in the Netherlands say they're within 10 years of developing an alternative, an artificial womb that could save many more lives and reduce the risk of disabilities. Well, as part of our 100 Women series, Sophia Betizar now reports. Imagine a future where babies are born from machines. In 2017, researchers in the US successfully tested an artificial womb on lambs. And now a group of doctors in the Netherlands are working on the first artificial womb for humans. So the baby is coming. So after being born, a premature baby would be placed in this, an artificial womb full of liquid. And we will we'll close the back. This is the artificial placenta and it is connected to the baby with the umbilical cord of the placenta and the umbilical cord of the baby. The hope is that this could increase the chances of survival of premature babies. Around the world, about 15 million children are born prematurely every year and half of them don't survive. Like James, his mother gave birth to him when he was only 24 weeks old. He died two months later. At that time, artificial womb was like magic. We dreamt about it, if that was a possibility, but it wasn't. When premature babies are put in an incubator, they get oxygen pumped into their lungs to survive. But they're not yet developed enough for this. An artificial womb, on the other hand, would have a baby floating in fluids and kept into a sealed environment until it is fully grown. This will change the lives of uh many people because those uh, babies are going to survive. Dr. Oi says the technology is nearly ready, but is society ready? A group of designers in Amsterdam have created this to represent what the technology could look like. The inflatable balloons are like wombs with babies inside and the tubes coming out of them would carry the fluids that babies need to survive. This was one of the first sketches. Lisa created the model because she feels the key to society accepting this new technology is the way it will look. You wouldn't really imagine putting your baby in a plastic bag. Uh, you wouldn't feel comfortable with that. So we need to th think about a design that you feel comfortable. This technology seems to offer parents hope, but could it actually end up presenting them with an extremely difficult choice? As it is now, if the child is 22 weeks, we just simply do not treat and unfortunately the child dies. But with the artificial womb, it seems to be the case that they have to actively say, no, we're not going to save the child, which can you know, evoke feelings of being a bad parent, you know. Despite some concerns, doctors plan to start testing artificial wombs on humans within the next 10 years, in the hope this could save the lives of millions of preterm babies around the world. Sofia Bettiza, BBC News, the Netherlands. Well, Lisa Mandemaker, the uh, designer that we saw in that report, is one of the BBC's 100 women of 2019. And to find out much more about that season, it's all on our website. Head to bbc.com slash 100 women. Uh, lots of stories, lots of background information about this year's list of remarkable women.